Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper Letter Vlog. Today we're opening the second half of mail I found in my PO box. So yes, I did already do part one of this video. Um, I'll put it in the description box down below if you want to go check that out. I really suggest you do because there's some really cute mail in there. But when I started editing it, I already found that it I found that it was already half an hour long, which is quite long for a video, so I decided to do it into two parts again. But do please let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer, either a very long video, which is like longer than half an hour, or two shorter videos. Okay, so I actually just got back from therapy, like five minutes ago, I think, um, because I have therapy in the mornings on Thursdays, every other Thursday, and I was really craving something comforting and warm, but I cannot have coffee because I already had that in the morning, and I have this thing where I don't want to drink too much coffee in a row, so, uh, because of my anxiety, and coffee makes it worse. So I decided it was finally time to try this Tiger Spice Chai mixture. And it says just add milk or water. And I'm of, <laughs> I'm of course going to do that. I was laughing because it says mix package contents with seven ounces hot milk or water. I don't know what ounces are, but luckily there was also a translation in German and I do speak a little bit of German. So 200 milliliters and I'm just going to have to mix this through. Uh, and then uh, we are going to open the second half. Oh no, I'm gonna make a lumps. Actually, I don't know about you guys, but hot, uh, chai lattes are for me the best thing ever invented. It's actually my second, the second most ordered drink for me, hot to drink in restaurants. I absolutely love chai lattes. It's like you get the comforting of, you get the comforting of a coffee uh, without actually the caffeine. And you could think, okay, Vivian, but you can also drink hot chocolate. It's also comforting. But hot chocolate has a little bit like a chai latte also has a little bit of that. I wouldn't say spiciness, but there's some stuff in there that's also a little bit m more energizing than hot chocolate because hot chocolate reminds me of not being able to sleep so <laughs> i love chai lattes i don't know what else to say i got this from one of you guys a little while ago i've been saving it for the perfect moment i think it has now come so uh, yeah i'm very excited i'm going to open the second batch of mail second batch i still have five more to go which is oh really really cool and i already cut all of them open because i thought that would be more efficient and I don't know which one it is, but something sweet. I smell something sweet. I don't, I think it's this one. I don't know. Or this one. It smells like something like candy or something. So I'm really, really curious. So I'm just gonna go straight in and open this one. This one is from Korean, Corinna. Uh, from the United States. As you can see, she used all of these stamps. I already talked about the stamps in the previous video, so I'm not gonna dwell on that, but it's definitely really, really cool. Just going straight in, but I did already cut it open, but I am a little bit confused as to how to actually get this out because... Okay, wait. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, I get it. It's like two compartments. This is an envelope, and then this is an envelope. Now I get it. That's why I couldn't get it out. This is sticky nose. Oh, I could... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I get it now. I, I have everything out and then I get it. Look! It's actually like a, some sort of a flip book. Two envelopes stuck together. That's quite clever. I wish I would... <laughs> I wish I uh, would have figured that out sooner, but I, I figured it out now. And then there's, there was a bunch of um, sticky notes at the top, but I already took them off because I'm too curious. Uh, I do have to admit that I did try a peppermint, peppermint chocolate tea once. From We got it in a paper gang box and I really didn't like it. So I think I might have to give this one to someone else. But this one, I've never heard of this before. Organic roasted dandelion, dandelion root. I wanted to say dandelion. If you guys watch, um, if you guys watch Orange is the New Black, you will know why I want to say dandelion, but it's dandelion roasted dandelion root. That actually sounds really interesting and I cannot wait to try that. So I am going to try this one. I might give that one away. And then there's a whole bunch of more stuff here. We have a letter. This is her letter. This is uh, favorite stores. Oh, there are some fun little touches. Favorite stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army. I'm gonna read that later. Oh, wait. Oh, it's the washi type I smell. I've, I've received this washi tape before, a little sample of it at least, and this washi type 
I don't know if this one as well. But these two smell like fruit candy. So that actually has such a strong smell that I can smell it through the envelope, which is kind of crazy. Her hobbies, a playlist. Oh, I love it. Favorite shows. That's always good. Feel free to recommend me your favorite Netflix shows or shows in general because I'm always looking for more... Uh, for more... Uh, shows to watch. And then it says, can you do me a favor and cut out the stamps I've used and send them back to me? I collect stamps, lol. Just cut all of them out of the envelope, blah, 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 blah. Love ya. Love ya long... Love ya young... So wow, I cannot pronounce this. Love ya young lady. Hear from you soon. Okay. Uh, I do have to admit that I don't know if I can send them back to you because I, of course, pick names randomly from the... Uh, from the pile and it would be unfair if I would uh, pick you just because you asked me to pick you so I am going to of course keep the stamps but I will have to see if I can actually send them back to you but you know hopefully that'll be all right and then this is her letter to me I'm just gonna take a quick peek okay I just read the letter and I do want to make one little comment not to be rude or anything but it does happen quite a lot so in the letter she asks me first to be pen pals and like I already said I really cannot accept any more pen pals if I want to keep up this thing that I have going of replying to my pen pals and reply to as many of you guys as possible I really don't want to accept any more pen pals so I'm really sorry I would love to reply to all of you and maybe um, like respond to you guys and t chat with you guys through the PO box and through my YouTube channel I would really love to get to know you all but just for like my sanity I have to limit myself to the amount of pen pals I have Second thing is uh, my cat is currently trying to climb the curtains again because she wants to grab the plant Poor plant. I'm not going to take it down because you will destroy that plant But the second, second thing I want to say is that she asked me to send her uh, a small box of goodies like you know like sweets and chocolate and uh, some gifts uh, she asked me to send her a small box of goodies and then she would send me a small box back but the second thing I want to say is that if I do PO box mail it's always envelopes and it's not because I'm greedy it's not because I don't want to share with you guys because I love sharing but it's just like cost wise and uh, stuff you know, in terms of what I'm able to send, it's always going to be envelopes. And that could, of course, be fat envelopes and a large envelopes, and it could be A4 sized envelopes, but it's never going to be a box. And I do want to take a moment to explain that because some of you guys have actually sent me boxes of goodies, which is insane. I don't even know how to say thank you anymore, honestly. And I really do appreciate it, but I hope that you guys also understand that I cannot send boxes back because first of all it will be way too expensive if I send a large envelope it's already going to cost me between 8 and 16 euros which is really expensive considering that a small envelope is only 1 euro and 45 cents so first of all it would be way too expensive for me because let's be real meal can be really expensive and it's not like I make a lot of it's not like I make any real money with my youtube channel it's just for fun um so i cannot send any boxes out um uh, first of all because it will be very expensive to send stuff out and also because i actually have this thing where i prefer to reply to as many letters as possible send out as many envelopes as possible over sending one large envelope so for example i of course i do i sometimes so um in, like what that means is that sometimes I do send out large envelopes. I mean, you've seen me create mail that was small, but also bigger. I think I do like to, to do those kind of things. But in terms of how, many, how much money I can spend on stamps, I actually prefer to send out two medium-sized letters over one large package. I hope you guys understand that. Because to me, it feels more fair to reply to two of you with a lot of love than to reply to one person with a huge amount of love. I really hope that makes sense. Please don't see me as greedy because I really am not. I try to, to share with you guys as much as possible, but um, in reply to, the, to her question, it's just not possible for me to send out large, heavy 
like to send out packages. So uh, I really hope this makes sense. It feels really scary actually to put that out there because like I said, I received so many incredible things from you guys. I want to reply and repay you guys as much as possible, but sadly, it's just not always doable for me, which is also why I'm not accepting any more pen pals and not accepting any swaps. And why I cannot promise you that I will send the, um, the stamps back to you right away, but I am going to put this letter into the uh, to reply folder. And then if I pick your name, obviously I'm going to send the stamps back to you. But it would just feel unfair to send you back something while not replying to everyone else. So, I hope that's clear. I really, like I said, I actually feel a little bit of anxiety in my throat. And I might actually cut this out of the video, but I just wanted to get that off of my chest. Because I get so many messages on Instagram and YouTube saying, Hey, do you want to be my pen pal? But I receive so much mirror in the, in the PO box and I'm having so much fun getting to know you all. Ah, it's actually enough for me for now. So, okay, I'm gonna put that, ho that whole subject aside and I'm just gonna go back to the video because I've been looking at these sparkles ever since I started talking and this looks so cute. Mm. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you so much for the chai. I'm sorry, I don't remember who sent this to me, but I really do appreciate it. So what I see here is like a wedding themed shaker envelope actually i hope you guys can see this as well i will move that because it's blocking the light you have little bells a little um like a, a wedding couple wedding couples here you can maybe see it better a wedding couple and little church bells and a lot of blue and pink hearts which is absolutely adorable i i'm actually hoping someone's going to get married so that i can use this that's really, really cute. And I also really like the heart-shaped sequins, so I might actually start taking them out. And then, um, there's a lot more going on in this letter. You absolutely spoiled me. We have a bunch of sticky notes. I think these were attached to the envelope, but I already pulled them off because I, I was confused. We have some Mickey Mouse themed, um, vintage Mickey Mouse themed sticky notes. Really, really cute. This one also vintage themed. This one with the flowers, which is really, really cute. And then we have this. Oh, it's actually a coaster. Am I saying that correctly? A coaster is like to put your cup on, right? But I'm never gonna do that because it's way too pretty. So we have like a, a vintage looking bird. Really, really pretty. I don't know what I, this actually, first thing that comes to my mind is using this as like the front of a flip book or something because it's quite, quite, oh, ASMR, quite um, sturdy. And then we have a couple of uh, quote stickers, <laughs> some uh, Disney stickers, some, I'm not... <laughs> My cat is drinking. By the way, I have one more thing, randomly. I want to talk about random things because that's easier and makes me happier. Um, one quick a random thought is that sometimes you may hear in my videos a humming noise or a, 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 sm a slight humming noise and that's actually my cat's water fountain. I turned it off now so you shouldn't be able to hear it but um, I have an extraordinary cat so naturally she's not going to drink from a regular water bowl so she's going to drink from a water fountain but okay uh, she was drinking and that's always so cute I had to look but um, what I wanted to say is that I'm having trouble speaking now because it was quite difficult for me to talk about it was quite difficult for me to say no in a video and I just said no a couple of times like no I cannot take any more pen pals no I cannot take any more swaps no I cannot send boxes and that's really difficult for me so I hope you guys don't see me as arrogant or anything because it's actually it actually affects me a lot <laughs> but I just have to be honest I just have to do these kind of things otherwise my youtube channel would start turning stressful and I obviously do not want that to happen so now I'm going back to the mail, I'm not going to think about it anymore. This really pretty tag with all sorts of blue colors. Ooh, label sticker is pretty. And a couple of these uh, sunshiny stickers, also really fun. Shine all day, hello summer, keeping it cool. Ooh, I want it to be summer. Cannot wait for spring. We're going to celebrate spring in our new house, I'm so excited. Ooh, Project Life cards. Oh, I love these. Oh, look at the design. This is so cute. I love it. 
I've actually grown quite fond of pink and flowers <laughs> so this makes me really really happy I don't know what it is with project life cards maybe the fact that they have rounded corners but they just make me really really happy this is so pretty also by the way if you're wondering why it's such a mess here uh, I'm also simultaneously working on a second video which is Valentine's Day themed and uh, I didn't want to clean it up because I want to continue in a little bit and I have this sequin mix oh no I'm proud of myself I have a sequin mix uh, that, I, that is uh, sparkling at me um, yeah, that's the reason why I have a mess and Project Life cards. I was talking about those. Oh, it's all pink. So pretty. Little pastel colors. Pastel, really, my favorite color scheme. Ooh, hello, darling. These are really, really pretty. Thank you so much for sharing these with me. And then we also have, I think, some postcards and some pretty. Um, a paper, ooh, double-sided paper pieces, really fun to decorate with. This could be perfect for like birthday mail. And then we have a, a picture or a postcard, actually a vintage postcard. I wonder if it says a year. It does not have a year. Which is really, really cool. Let me know if you collect these, by the way. I would be happy to share. Wow, these are really, really... Oh, this one is beautiful. We have a, a botanical postcard. And this is a picture. Oh, no, this is also a postcard. Wow, <laughs> I got a whole bunch of uh, vintage postcards. Some more sticky notes. And then we have this pretty paper. I don't actually know what this is. It looks a little bit like a banner, but it's really pretty. Pretty. I could use this for making like mail. That's really cool. And then, oh, letter writing paper. Yay, I love letter writing paper. Oh, kitties. What a cute little kitty. I absolutely adore this. Thank you so much for sharing all of that with me. What a package filled with happiness. That's really, really kind. So I'm going to put all of this aside and hopefully I will get to reply to your letter one day. Speaking of replying to letters, I've been doing really, really good this week because on Monday I sent out two letters, one pen pal letter, one swap. Um, then on Tuesday I sent out another pen pal letter. Am I saying that correctly? I think so. On Tuesday another pen pal letter. On Wednesday I finished a pen pal letter and a subscriber mail. Because I'm alternating them now. I'm doing one pen pal letter, then one subscriber mail, then a pen pal letter, then a subscriber mail. And I think I'm going to be running out of pen pal letters soon. So then I will be able to work on uh, replies for the PO box as much as possible, which is really fun. But it's my goal to send out more letters this year, especially letters. I mean, happy mail. Yes, of course, happy mail is also fun. But I really want to go back to letter writing and replying to all of the letters I have received. So that has actually been going really well. I'm, I'm already way past my, um, my goal to write two or three subscriber mails. I'm way past that. So I'm really, really happy. And I hope, I really hope they arrive. All of them arrive soon. Um, so I have four more. Uh, first, this one. I already talked about the stamp, which is really, really cool. Uh, let me take a quick peek who this was from. This is from Kristen from the USA. Love the stamps. I cannot stressed it enough and then she decorated it with this really pretty foiled washi tape which is really really cool and i think this is going to be christmas oh a christmas card look at that uh oh <laughs> oh no i see some sparkles i have to be careful i'm already s oh no i think there's <laughs> sequins in here ah yeah there are <laughs> i'm gonna have to be careful i don't want to uh spread them everywhere Okay, wait, I'm gonna take this out, but I don't wanna show you the letter, of course. Look at these beautiful washies. I also quickly saw that there are a couple couple simply gilded washi types in here. Oh yeah, and it even this even even this washi type sampler is from Simply Gilded. I don't know if you guys know that, but it simply gilded is a web shop, I guess. 
that makes these really beautiful uh, washi tapes especially the ones with bows on them and they always have foiling and I've been looking at their shop for so long but it's really expensive for me to order stuff because of shipping especially but look how beautiful I'm really happy you wanted to share that with me I don't know what it is but when you cannot have something obviously you're going to want to have it so <laughs> simply gilded is uh, something uh, that's been on my wish list and I think this might actually be the first time receiving uh, some samples so thank you uh, apple cinnamon Ooh, m oh moringa leaves moringa leaves cinnamon and apple pieces green tea I don't know what moringa is but that sounds really good you guys are really spoiling me with all of the teas. Um, so I cannot wait to try that. I'm going to try to keep all of the sequins in this meal. So they're, they are really, really pretty though, but I'm just always afraid of them going everywhere. And I cleaned the house yesterday, so I'm trying to uh, keep it organized. So thank you so much, Kristen, for that lovely, lovely meal. Going on to the next one, this one, I already recognize the name and the handwriting. This one is from Tamara from Germany. Oh, oh, oh. She put on some really beautiful stamps. I also talked about it in the previous video, so I won't dwell on that. But sadly, they are bent. I don't know why, but it always happens with German stamps that sometimes they're only attached in the middle. Eh, but luckily three of them are perfectly fine and then she has this really pretty um, envelope like a little watercolor design on the front and this washi sticker which is really pretty <laughs> uh, let me see I don't want to I think there's a large letter in here I want to show you that of course oh no oh it's okay I, I can show it oh ooh, I almost left this in what a pretty sheet oh this is really pretty I love this color and this is also like some sort of washi, washi sticker sheet. Really like that. Thank you so much, Tamara. Tamara and I uh, met on Swapbot, I think, and we did a swap a long time ago. And then she also sent me a surprise mail uh, with a stencil for bows I can make. I've been making so many bows. And now she sent me some subscri subscriber mail, which is so sweet. Mm. So these really pretty stickers. This is her letter, I think. Yeah, this is her letter. Really pretty letter writing paper. It's also quite large, I think. Oh, paper clip. I like a four sized paper. <laughs> and then we have a little to do checklist that I could put in my journal. And this cute little booklet that says tea for you. Mm, this is so cute. It's such a sweet idea to wrap up the tea within a little booklet. I also love this sticker. <laughs> but first tea. Oh, I think she did the same as me. Is this, Tamara, if you're watching this, you have to tell me if this is um, like one of those samples you can find in a Home Depot store, like the wallpaper sample, <laughs> because I also did that. It says sweet chai, yes. Now, I don't have to tell you guys how much I love chai because I've been yapping about it all the time in this video. Thank you so much, Tamara. I cannot wait to read your lovely letter. And hopefully I will pick you for a reply. Also, this washi tape is absolutely gorgeous. You're gonna have to tell me where you found that. <laughs> Let me know, what is your favorite hot drink? Is it coffee, tea, chai latte, hot chocolate, mulled wine? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know in a comment down below. Mm. Now we have two more, two from Two both from very exotic um, countries in my opinion because I've never been and I have never I do not often receive mail I don't actually remember ever receiving mail from Brazil <clears throat> okay so my camera decided to cut me off right as I was talking but this lovely mail is from Isra I really hope I'm saying that correctly it is from Oman uh, which I've never been and I've never ever received meal from that country So there's these really pretty stamps and then a couple of stickers, which I really really like and I'm gonna put this aside Let me see what oh first of all we have a coffee mixture, which I always love classic ice Oh, it's actually iced coffee mixture Cool, oh, I like that. I always oh you, you guys know I love it I don't want to sound like I'm asking for more because I really am not I'm happy with everything you guys uh, send me 
And also I have to say one last thing and that is that Isra and I have been uh, chatting on Instagram a little bit. So if it's okay with you, I will put your Instagram in the Instagram handle in the comment in the description box down below. Also let me know if I forgot anyone because I would love to connect all of you. We're just going to look at this. What what? Oh my god, it's is this a vase? Does this actually work? Can this actually stand on its own? Oh, this actually stands on its own. Oh my gosh, I've never seen this before. And it's two of them even. Oh, that is so cool. You can like pop this out. Yeah, of course you have to fill it with water. So I cannot really show you now because I want to keep it for the crafter. You can pop this out basically and then fill it with water and then it will stand on its own. And I've got a little green and also a larger blue design. As you can see, that's so cool. I've never seen this before. I think my mom will be jealous. I'm definitely going to put this up in the craft room. What a cool gift idea. You can actually send a vase through the mail. That's so cool, Ezra. <laughs> I really think you you hit the hit the mark on making me happy because you know I love flowers. <laughs> And then this is her mail, which actually looks really, really cool. It is a... Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. It folds out. I don't know if I should fold it all the way out. I don't want to ruin it, but okay. First of all, I think this is the front. And it has the letter in here. And it says, inspiration, lower score, underscore, goddess 146 to the paper letter blog. And then we have something here, tea. Ooh, chai. <laughs> I think I talk about chai too much. Ooh, and this is my name in Arabic. How cool. Also, yeah. Also, if you're wondering, I'm pretty sure that this is the first meal you get from Oman. Lol. Yeah, it is. But this is really cool. It's my name in Arabic. Of course, I know what it says. It says Vivian, I hope. <laughs> but maybe, uh, maybe, yeah, you know, you could be insulting me and I will never know. But I, I know that you wouldn't do that. And then this is her letter, which I will leave in here. And a mail tag. I'm going to leave that in here. But this is such a clever idea. She used these um, like window envelopes to make a flip book. I actually have never thought of doing that, but I really like it. So that's a windowed envelope. This is a windowed envelope. Um, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to unwrap it and i think also the back is like decorated yeah oh you even did the back that's so incredible so we have this one i cannot take it out because it's in the back but i can see some pretty stickers and some decoration and then we have t love these chipboard letters <clears throat> and then you put some more tea in here skin purifying tea that sounds really cool and then, oh, this one is also open from here. So she, this is so clever. I will explain it later, but there's also some stuff in here. Whoops. Ooh, oh, glitter. I thought it was like a golden envelope, but it's glitter. Ooh, that's really cool. That is so mesmerizing. Hope dies last, some quotes, magazine quotes, a, a whole bunch of pretty doilies. Wow, you sent me so many. And then some handmade stickers. This is so cool. You guys are so creative. And everyone always says that I'm creative, but I, I, I get all of my ideas from you guys. Oh, this is all yellow. Ah, I see. It's also color coordinated. Look, this is all orange. This was all yellow, yellow stickers. That is really clever. Gold. Ooh, a little girl sticker. I don't know if I got everything. No, I didn't. There's more. Wait, I will put this aside. And then when I flip it over, I will take out the rest. And then we have this blue, blue theme. I'm going to flip it over now. Oh, I already took out the tea accidentally. Tea in here as well. Or did I take out? Or did I already take this tea? Wait. No, tea in here as well. This is the orange pocket and it has orange tea. <laughs> Chamomile. That's so clever. Actually, color coordinating everything. I love it. And then this is... We have tea here as... Oh, wait. Oh. 
I forgot one. Oh man, it's even bigger than I thought. Okay, I take out this one, which is a detox tea, and it's green again. So, oh, oh no, I tore it a little bit. And then there's a lot of stuff in here, which is green. That is such a good idea. I'm totally going to make something of my own in this, uh, in this category, color coordination. Come out. I think something else is in here. Oh no, it's the washi type from, that I can see from the outside. Okay, I should be good. Wow, beautiful stickers. Tag, oh, this is beautiful. A little star sign. You have such pretty stuff. Little, oh, this is so cute. Look what it does. I've seen this before, but not this sp specific design. Cannot speak. Look, you can put it upright and then you will have a little kitty. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then some memo sheets and some lined memo sheets. Wow, you really shared so much of your stash with me, Isra. That's really, really sweet. Thank you so much. This is all really pretty. I think I'm always doubting between green and blue being my favorite color. I think both of them are, but green used to be my favorite color for sure. Okay, now I'm going to flip it over. This time, but this time it's coffee. <laughs> Try it, it's good. Oh, this was in here. It's blue, really, really clever. This was in here. I don't know how you got that in there. <laughs> so the coffee was in there and then, see there's more stuff in here as well, blue stuff. Oh, another one, Virgo. Oh, I feel so spoiled. Oh, all the star signs. Pieces. Oh, a washi type sample. Wait, I'm gonna try to get everything out. I really like this idea with the windowed envelopes. You get like a little sneak peek. I think I got it all. We have this... Oh, this really large washi type with like the, the, the tile design, which is really cool. A mermaid, a little envelope sticker, a blue washi sticker, really pretty. Oh, this is all so cool. Cannot believe you sent all of this to me. Oh, I didn't get everything out. I wonder if I can make the windowed envelopes myself, but I think this used to be for like a CDs, right? We have this one, a completely golden one, some yellow sticky notes. Oh, this is pretty washi type with foiling and arrow and hearts. So pretty. And little girl. And then of course the T and I think yeah, this is your is this your letter? Oh no, of course I didn't take this out yet. I just saw it from the other side. We have orange sticky notes. Oh, this is another one of those designs, just like the kitties. But then with a book. With stationery. That's really cute. You could put this if you go to class for the first time, you could put this as like your name tag. <laughs> That's actually really, really cute. I didn't know. I've only seen it once with a cat, but I didn't know there were multiple designs. And then I can also see... Wait, where did it open? I can already see so many ideas come to life with all of your, uh, your, your creativity. And some orange stickers, I think. Yeah, oh, so pretty. Thank you so much, Isra. This was really, really fun. I'm definitely going to do something like my own spin on this. If I remember how you wrapped this. Definitely going to do something, <laughs> put my own twist on it. I really love the vases. I will put them aside for the craft room. Cannot wait to try them out. Really, really pretty. Thank you so much. And this is exactly why I wanted to do this after therapy because even though therapy isn't sad anymore It it is kind of nice to have something fun to look forward to 
So this one is from Brazil. First of all, I love the stamps, especially this one. I mean, it matches perfectly with the design, which is really cool. And this one is from, let me take a peek, Karina. I really, first of all, I really love your design. It really stands out with the, the botanical stuff against the purple background. I love it so much. I think you might have cut all of this yourself. If I am not mistaken, and that looks like so much work. Really, really cool. Like I said, I already cut it open like everything else, but I didn't actually look inside. Sadly, when I was cutting it open, I accidentally ripped the top. Um, ooh, this is really, this looks really cool. It's like a, a, a nice little package. I call everything little, but it's quite big. Sorry, I hope you don't see that as a negative thing because it's not. It's just one of those uh, words I use all the time. Mm, and then, what is in here? Oh, I can see some uh, embossed paper, like all different layers. Flowers for you. Oh, she dried me some flowers. That's so cool. Look how beautiful that looks in the vellum paper. Wow. I'm going to leave it in this package because it looks so pretty, but you can see through the vellum that she dried me some orange flowers and some red flowers really really vibrant colors i quite like it i have two things come to mind first of all i want to save this put this entire envelope into a book because it looks so pretty and the second thing that comes to mind is i want to make wax seals with this i might try to get like the loose ones out for wax seals and then keep the rest intact to put in a booklet this is really really pretty thank you i really love this idea pretty vellum envelopes so cool oh and this is a flip book it says hello vivian wow this is really i wonder if you have like one of those uh cutting machines or something i don't know how else you could have done that oh goodies oh you spoiled me i'm gonna open this first hello vivian beautiful paper a letter for you i'm gonna read it afterwards tea time stickers it's a good day for a good day how did you do this you have to tell me this is really cool it, it, it's not it's like i think maybe you have one of those um plotter machines i've been looking at a cricket if you guys know that this is so thin i don't think i don't know how she could have done it i'm gonna stop talking about it now also this really pretty little envelope i don't want to tear it come out come out oh what is this a little tea green tea chamomile and mango i th I, th I assume oh yeah green tea chamomile mango oh you put the translation thank you thank you i always wonder but that was quite easy for me to translate thank you I love green tea, I love chamomile. I don't know about mango tea, but I'm going to try that one for sure. And then this one says stickers. Such delicate little envelopes, I don't wanna tear them. Ooh, these are really pretty. Yeah, these are really pretty. I love botanical stuff. You guys know that by now because you sent me the beautiful, the most beautiful things. Oh, I love these. Oh, I think there's another one in there. Oh yeah, I missed a few. Oh, more of the beautiful botanicals. Oh, that's so beautiful. I'm on a no spend, so this is this is making me very happy. Pretty flower stickers. Oh, kitties. These are so cute. That's really, really sweet. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, Corinne, I really, really like, I think, I don't know, they're so delicate, it looks... I'm, I'm wondering if there's like... I don't know, I don't want to ask you where you bought them because I might end up buying them myself, but I am quite curious. This is totally me, by the way. <laughs> of course, I will read your letter after this. And then we have this beautiful paper that I've been looking at. It's like embossed, so it has a pattern on it and it's quite sturdy, really cool. I'm gonna have to, to find something cool to do with that. And then there's this envelope. Oh, some paper goodies for you and a sleeping kitty. Mm. I already love it. <laughs> I feel like my new 
I don't know how you call that in English. In Dutch we call it a stop word, which is basically a word you say every other sentence. So a word that keeps repeat that you keep repeating, such as I know a lot of people say like, it's like the best thing like ever, like, but for me it's stuff like cute i say cute a lot i say the word ooh a lot like ooh <laughs> i say it all the time i say the word little a lot when i speak english i always say what a cute little package even though it's probably very big cute little flip book i say the word little a lot i, I want to know what you call that in english please do tell me my cat just joined me on the floor hey lady you gonna meow you want to say hello to the people again? Go! Ah, there we go. You want to come sniff? She did already inspect all of your email, all of your letters, of course, but... Just show your boom on the camera. By the way, I, I keep thinking that once I have my craft room, I will have a bigger desk to film on, but I'm actually taking this table with with me to the craft room, so I don't think it's going to get any bigger than this. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? So many interesting things. Can you show the people your face? Hope you guys can see her, otherwise this is awkward. You're only going to show them your boom. Give you a smooch. Can I give you a smooch? No. Oh, okay, bye. Oh, look at the hair she left behind. What's wrong with you, kitty? <laughs> Thank you, Noose. We need to do brush brush time. Don't we now? Okay, I'm gonna look at the paper goodies. First of all, this really beautiful washi type. This, oh, I like all of these. This design kind of matches the, the sticker designs I got earlier. These, I'm going to use these for address labels. I think that's why you maybe sent them to me. Because this is so perfect. Put them on an envelope and you have a beautiful address label. I love all of them. If this is a printable, I need it. <laughs> this is really beautiful. This is so my style. We have a Rio de Janeiro. A, I think a vintage or at least a cutout from a book. Oh, we have some butterflies and I think these are moth. Moths, that's a word I cannot pronounce being a Dutchie. Moths, moths, moths. These are all moths. I'm not gonna try again. <laughs> oh, this is actually the paper that I think she made the envelope out of as well. The little envelopes. Yeah, it's so delicate, really, really pretty. Thank you for sending me some. I cannot wait to use that. Uh, but it's so delicate, I might actually use it in the background for the pen pal journal, the Happy Mail journal. And then this, which looks vintage again, like a vintage label or something. And then more vintage book paper. I, I don't know why, I like it when the edges of the, the page are browned. Thank you, I'm gonna use that for background stuff. That's really cool. And with that, I'm actually at the end of the, all of this amazing, incredible Happy Meal. I really wanna thank you. First of all, for taking the time to watch this entire video, if you're still here. If you're still here, let me know in the comments down below. Um, what's today's question? Okay, today's question is, what is your favorite color? Let me know in the comments down below if you're still watching. And um, thank you to all of the people who have sent me mail either in the past or now or in the future. I really hope you know how much I appreciate all of it. I appreciate all of you. I really like getting to know you all. Whether you write me a long or a short letter, I love both of them. I just, it's so nice to get in touch. So I wanted to uh, thank you for that. And with that, I'm going to um, say my goodbyes. I hope you have an amazing day. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you at the next one. Okay, bye-bye.